me, Carissa, and I have my friend here, B, Brittany. Hi! She has a channel on YouTube as well, so I'm gonna leave a link down below, and it is called? It is called B Christina. B underscore Christina. And it's B-E-E, -E, right? Yeah, it's B-E-E. -E. So today we're gonna do her makeup, and she's gonna do my makeup. It's gonna be a voiceover, because we got things going on in the background. <laughs> okay, so first we're gonna start off with priming the face. I got this primer from my beauty school. It has tons of vitamins and grapeseed oil, so it's great for all skin types. And I'm going to start off with the eyes first, and I'm going to be using the HD NYX um, primer. And then I'm going to use the Smudge Pot from e.l.f. I don't know what shade this is, but it's the bronzy one. And from the Amrezy palette, I'm going to be using Morocco, and I'm going to pop that right into her crease. Since she does have warm skin, I'm going to keep with a warm look. Then going in with China Rose, I'm going to put that all over the lid, mainly on the inner to, yeah, the inner half of the eye. And then to deepen up the look from the same palette, we're going to use a deep plum, and we're just going to pop that right into her outer V. And I did use a little bit of Noir just to deepen up the outer part of the V as well. And for her brows, I kept it really natural with just a nice brown since her hair is a little bit of a violet. To clean up the brows, I used NW25. The shade is way too dark for me, but way too light for her. So I just used my finger to blend it out. And for a foundation, I used the Morphe NW or 9W palette. And I actually mixed all three shades at the bottom to get her perfect color. And I'm also going to correct with the orange corrector from LA Girl and use the same foundation brush just to blend out any harsh edges. And then use the Fawn concealer to highlight and conceal under her eyes as well. I did take this right in the middle of her eyebrows, down the bridge of her nose, in her cupid's bow and her chin just to highlight and give some balance to the face. And to bake I used Tarte's, what is this one? This one is called Smooth Operator but it was way too light for her and hard to blend out. So I definitely don't re like recommend using um, this type of bright shade on a darker skin tone. She does have oily skin, so I went in with BH Cosmetics Matte Powder in 255 and just set all over the face where I didn't highlight. So I did give her a little bit of a wing and I used the Rimmel Liner Gel Liner. I don't know what it's called, but it's their gel liner. I love it. It's super creamy and I use it on all of my clients. And to blend out the baking underneath the eyes, I used Matte's. Um, BH Cosmetics Matte Powder again, but I think in 240, yes, in 240, as you can see here, it's a lighter shade, and it's a warmer shade as well, and I use that to blend everything out from the lower um, concealer and baking there. Now, we did smoke out the eye look just a tad bit from, and using the Amrezy palette, I went back in with the Deep Plum, just on the outer V to really just define the eye shape. And then I went back in with China Rose just to smoke it out just a little bit underneath the deep plum. For inner corner highlight, we used Glisten from the Amrezy palette and I just used like a liner type brush, detailer brush and pop that right in the inner corner. And for mascara, I used my favorite, I use this on every client, it's the Too Faced Mascara Better Than Sex. And of course you always have to use a disposable. And for blush, I use the BH Cosmetics, I don't know if this is their Glam or regular blush palette, but I mixed in the orange and the tan color in there just to give her some a little bit of color on her cheeks, but we're really just keeping it really natural and beautiful, just like her skin is. So I'm going to prep her lips with the Too Faced Lip Insurance, and then I'm going to use Milani's Matte and Flirt, or Flirty, and I'm going to prep her lips with the primer first. That way if her lips are dry, it kind of smooths it out and it also will help with the lipstick stay on just a little bit longer. Um, that is it. I did spray her down with Urban Decay All Nighter. That way the makeup would last. I did an X and then a T motion. Took my little selfies for my before and afters and this is the final look of my girl Brittany. Make sure to check out her channel. Follow her on Instagram. She's also a fellow makeup artist as well so you can book her as well. Thanks for watching, guys.